the VAR show the one place for your weekly football update Hola a very warm welcome to the VR show the show which talks about all the various major football leagues in detail today we are going to continue the theme of interviews and today's guest on the show is a very very you know good player along with that his story what he has gone through is very very inspirational from being a refugee who had to leave his home to being the star of his country and also playing under the likes of Zico and also performing extremely well for all the clubs he has played for so we have the star defender of gokulam kerala fc and the former captain of afghanistan national team mr zohib islam amiri with us today so without wasting much time i would like to first thank zohib for coming on the show thank you so much and welcome to the show and i would like to begin by asking you how are you and what are you doing during this pandemic period uh first of all thank you so much for having me in the show to be honest uh, It is always a pleasure to 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 talk with you guys because I have a a very good connection with uh, with Nepal. So yeah, good. Uh, you know, as as you know that everyone is facing a lot of difficulties here during this uh, this very very uh, hard uh, hard uh, period. So yeah, I'm here. I'm home. I stuck here in Kerala. I'm just waiting for the international flight to open that I can just fly home. So you know, we'll talk about. football which is a lighter topic to what's happening in the world around right now so from shoa fc to gokulam kerala F- fc how has the journey been for you of course it's not a uh, it is not a, a easy journey of course the one of the most i can say hardest journey for me uh, for my family that uh, I would grow up and uh, because from the day I born it was war in my country and as you know that uh, for a, for a kid that born in a war country and then come and achieve this much I think it is uh, it is very difficult but uh, yeah thank god the support of my mom and dad and uh, yeah it was a long 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 journey but uh, finally I did it and uh, yeah all uh, i can say all credit goes to my mom and dad so you know like uh, uh, when i was preparing the questions you know to ask you i read your one interview you know where i saw like uh, it was not like what you planned for you never thought of playing football you had come for someone's marriage back to kabul and it suddenly happened can you just say what happened that time no of course like uh... you can't plan you know in 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 the world you know if you plan i don't think so for me especially when i plan i never work so if suppose i plan my holiday no it's not going to work it something is going to happen yeah well, i came for my cousin's wedding i was 15 and uh, in afghanistan you know i don't know it that they have a national team or they have a league they have a club or all that stuff so i come back with my family and then my cousin was playing in shoa fc and then yeah you know i was in a right time in a right moment and i was there and then this coach saw me and he is like you want to you want to come and play for this club and because i said i'm here for like few days why not you know let's let's just go train you know so then yeah then i trained with them and after that uh, all the coaches of the national team was on the on the stand they saw me and then yeah they invited me for the national team I, i think it was more than like 200 boys on the on the camp when the first time they they wanted to build a national team and i was the youngest like a kid and i was playing with like all these people i was like oh my goodness but it it becomes so quick everything that i not even thought i never not even plan but what i'm going to do i never uh plan also one before i come to, from pakistan to afghanistan that i i, I not bring that clothes i bring only that clothes that i'm going to stay there for 10 15 days and that's it but yeah that that happen and uh, yeah i can say destiny i can say my hard work or how i can call i don't know but yeah this is something that happened you know so your first club in india was i think mumbai fc 
and uh, how did india happen actually you are getting uh, you are getting less paid in mumbai than what you are getting paid in afghanistan why did you come to india yeah so i was playing in a in a very very good team in afghanistan it's called kabul wing and that is the only club that is start paying afghanistan footballers because from before that no chance they're not in afghanistan they are taking money from you they're not going to give you money and they are paying me too much like not even half of what i'm getting in mumbai fc like like triple of that and uh, kabul bank come in mumbai for a pre season and we play against mumbai fc and air india and one other club and then these people saw me you know they the three, all three club wanted to sign me air india even the coach uh, i was i come to mumbai to sign but that did not happen so why i decide to come in mumbai because first of all uh, bigger league than afghanistan that time a new challenge a new challenge that i was the first afghan footballer that come out of the the afghanistan and come play in different countries and uh, yeah i take a challenge and then thank god i think that is one of my best decision on my life that i just uh, come to india and play in indian league uh, i know it was hard for me i know it was uh, difficult financially also it was difficult to stay and that m- amount of money in mumbai you know mumbai is one of the most expensive uh, cities in the world but yeah i decided to to take a new challenge i'm someone that i love to take challenges i love to i love to just uh, go and face the challenges so yeah i took the challenge and then yeah that is all study after that so you know then you also went on to play for new radian sports club in maldives how is the footballing culture in maldives i can say man that's why i always say like i i love to take challenges and then uh, the one coach he was in india i i i know him uh, he was with me and then in india i was like okay i'm here for like 8 years let me take a new challenge you know let's let's do something else and when he called me he's like oh the team is playing afc cup and for me for my cv if i play afc cup as a club uh, level it was it was good you know i say like okay let's let's uh, you know take this challenge and uh, i think uh, one of the most i can say the worst one year of my life to to decide to join this club or i think one of the worst decision of my life to just go and play in maldives league because uh the league was okay but the the management of the team was horrible they not pay us for 6 months uh they treat us very very bad especially in a in a country that they they talk about all that professionalism and everything but uh, they are horrible they are so bad man. and the level the level was so bad and and yeah they treat they treat me very bad and then yeah i i say sometimes i was thinking also like why i take this decision to go and play there i i i can say the players they have like unbelievable they are so supportive they are so good but new reading the management uh, the afa all of them was like horrible they not even help me when i come out i take everything from my own i go out and then uh, they not even help me to give all them on my paper and after that i was not playing for 6 months because i was waiting that they're going to give me my paper but it was a horrible experience you know in life sometimes you take good decisions sometimes bad decisions yeah but that was the worst decision i have ever had in my life So uh, currently, uh, luckily you are over that, and you currently play for Gokulam Kerala FC. How is it? How is it playing in Kerala? Wow. To be honest, like I play almost in every city and in, uh, in, in India. And for me, uh, luckily, I'm so lucky. I'm so lucky to play in the three top cities that the fan is unbelievable. First, Goa. They love football. you know they are like unbelievable i have a lot of memories i have i spent my three best years of my career in uh, in goa the fans the, the team everyone was unbelievable and after that 
one short season I play in uh, Kolkata because Kolkata also the fans was unbelievable. The fans is uh, uh, crazy, you know. I can say. But then I wanted to experience Kerala also, you know. I heard about Kerala, the fans, you know, everything. But yeah, I joined here. Uh, the fans is unbelievable. They are uh, they are coming in every every game in large number of, of people, you know, they come and support, you know, so unbelievable, you know, a good experience for me. And uh, I can say that, okay, in India, I spent 30 years and then I experienced all the cities almost. So uh, unbelievable, you know, unbelievable. So, you know, like, how is it working with Fernando Santiago Varela? Good coach, good coach. Uh, new in India, but uh, very smart coach, very, very smart coach. Uh, he is someone that uh, understands the player, he is emotionally connect, connect with you. Uh, I really enjoy working with him one, one season. I know uh, that we're not going to carry for next year. I know it was difficult, but it was a it was a one season. I love I love to work under him in the future if get opportunity. But a very good coach, very very good coach. So you know to, now we spoke about all the countries. How is the footballing league of quality in Afghanistan? Good good league. It's not that we say like we don't have bad league, but the league is very short. So that is the problem. You know that is the reason that every Everyone is playing outside of the country, all the national team players. We have a proper league, but it is short. It's only for three months, sometimes less than three months. You know, with preseason, it's three months. But nine more months, no one is doing nothing. You know, this is the, the problem. Of course, we, we have a good, uh, like eight teams from eight different cities all come together in Kabul, they play. But the problem is like uh, the level is good. The level is good, but not much money, and then also uh, the duration is very less. Because as a professional, if you want to play continuously, you have to be uh, in the season of nine months, nine month season, and then one month holiday, and then one month again start your own preparation, and then again you have to join the preseason. So the league is short. But you see the quality of the boys because everyone is playing outside, you know. That, that's why the, our national team is so good, thank God, that all the boys is playing outside and they're performing well. So, uh, for you personally, are you looking into getting into coaching after your playing career? Uh, to be honest, I, I, I'm not thinking about my future, to be honest, because I have a long plan to, to go. I wanted to play more. I have a target to, to achieve that and then after that I will sit and uh, think about the future because I know my, I not get uh, much chance with my family in this 15 years of my career because in 15 years I not get much chance and not spend much time with my mom and dad. But then yeah, after that I will see like what I can do, what is good for me and my family and uh, what I can do because doesn't mean that if you are a good footballer, you have to be a good coach. Of course, doesn't doesn't mean that you have to be. But yeah, I, I have a passion. I, I love I love to be around the, the ground. And yeah, to be honest, let's see what is going to happen. I love to involve in a sports. Of course, that is for sure. I'm going to involve in a sport, but I don't know which which part I'm going to take it. So I'll ask you a little bit more lighter questions. How is the food in Kerala? Ah, to be honest, uh, I heard so much about food, but I never, I never been out to eat any food of Kerala. I never eat Kerala food. Only uh, because my cook is with me, so everywhere I go, he is with me. He cook for me, so he know what I eat. So I never eat the spicy food. I'm here in like almost 11 years in India, and everyone is talking about that. Oh, how can you not eat in a spicy food? How can you not eat Indian food? Of course, I only like butter chicken because that is not spicy, so that's it. So, uh, if you look back, which is your most favorite moment from your career till now? Oh, 
difficult question. I have a lot of favorite moments, to be honest. But if I say collectively, uh, professionally, uh, individually, and team-wise, 2013 South Championship was one of the best year of my and the best moment of my career. You know, as a captain, I win uh, South Championship, and as a player, I performed that that tournament very good. And I achieved something that year. You know, that is something that I never gonna forget. That's gonna stay with me the rest of my life. You know, it's one of the most beautiful moments that 10 days I stay in Nepal and then we win. From the first day we win, we win, we win. And then at the end we win against India and we become the champion. So that was one of the most memorable moments of my life. So have did you roam around Nepal? Uh, no, actually, I was supposed to go to this uh, Pakol. No. Pokhara? I, the city, Pokhara? Pakol? Yeah, yeah, Pokhara. Pokhara. Pokhara, yeah, Pokhara. Pokhara. All the team was supposed to go to there, but then the security did not allow us because they said like, it's difficult to take a security because it's like a long journey. But then, yeah, in Kathmandu, I roam around, I went to to, to shop a little bit and one market was there. I don't remember the market. But yeah, yeah, beautiful. Yeah, I, I love momos, you know, because I had momos there on the streets. So I love you come back again. Maybe Romo and I can be a guide. I love to. I love to. To be honest, I have a, a lot of connection. You know, when you, you achieve something in a country or when you have good memories on that country, you always love to come, you know. I love to come to Nepal. That is for sure. One day, for sure, I'm gonna come. That is, that is no, no, no way. Then I'm gonna call you, and then you have to take me around. Sure, but do not plan and come because if you plan, it gets cancelled, as you said. No, 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 no. I'm never gonna plan. You know, that is the, the problem. You know, I never plan. To be honest, if I want to, if I plan, then not gonna happen but if suppose tomorrow i wanted to go i tonight i take a flight and come so don't worry and i message you that can you come uh, pick me in the airport so uh which is your favorite football team in the world of course uh, this is the most easy question manchester united uh -oh. so uh when you're growing up you know like uh who, you had any players you would look up to uh, to be honest, I was uh, when I grow up, I was uh, watching some football game because on the starting I don't have TV and all that. When I went to Pakistan, then that time I started watching uh, uh, Premier League. So of course, uh, from the start, I I really enjoy watching Salatan Ibrahimovic, and then from Manchester United, I was uh, enjoying watching Roy Keane. So they are the ones that, you know, aggressive like me. I love to, to be with them, you know, like, like them. Because I, will, I am like that, passionate. I want to, I, I hate to lose. So yeah, Roy Keane, uh, sometimes I was watching Zidane. But yeah, Zlatan Ibrahimovic from starting, yeah. So on that note, I'll ask you one final question. Whom do you prefer, Lionel Messi or Cristiano Ronaldo? <laughs> Again, it's too easy question, man. Eh? Of course, I take every day Ronaldo because he played for Manchester United first. Second, I think he's the most hardest, hard-working guy in all history. That he made himself this because naturally he was not like this, but he built himself. So he is the best. He is number one, of course. Ronaldo, of course, anytime. So. On that note, Zoeb, thank you so much for talking to me and I wish you all the best for your future campaigns. Hope you, you know, win more trophies in your other future clubs and hope you come to Nepal soon, maybe to roam around and we can meet again and hope we can talk again soon. Thank you so much. Stay safe. Take care. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me on the show. Thank you so much. Uh, give my, my regards to all the Nepal people. Love you guys. Thank you. Thank you.